Elizabeth Klein Has No Friends, written by Emily Walland. Interior, David's Bridal Day. These dresses are so ugly. A saleswoman looks over, offended. But there are some elegant ones, too. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do this. <laughs> oh, come on. You did this for me. And I promised that when you got married, I, too, would put on a bad bridesmaid dress fashion show. <laughs> that was five years ago. <laughs> yeah, but I also remember you said you want your bridesmaids to pick whatever dress they feel comfortable in. Same color, of course. Yeah, I think I want them all to wear the same dress now. Oh, okay. But you still want pink, right? Pink is your favorite color, singer, and clothing brand you advertise on your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in college. <gasps> what about your dress? Oh my God, they have some on sale in the back that aren't that bad. Actually, my parents gave us some money, so I think I'm going to splurge a little. <laughs> oh, this coming from the lady who told me not to waste money on six hours of my life, you know, save it for a down payment on a house. <laughs> Elizabeth, it's my wedding. You know what? You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just excited. You were just the most incredible maid of honor. And I just want to be that for you. What about the bar? I, I know you're really busy. Hey, stop. I, I want to say something. I know I've flaked on you a few times, more than a few times. It's been a crazy couple of years, Mike and the divorce and keeping the bar going. Oh, did I tell you? I'm renovating the bar. No more 90s theme. Lou Vega can suck. Elizabeth? We can have the bachelorette party there. And, you know, I'm sure Francesca and Meredith will help. And, you know, mm -hmm. I figured you'd want something classy. But, you know, if you want to have some penises in your face, I'm totally down for that. Elizabeth? Okay. Oh, we can just do one big penis. Elizabeth, you're not my maid of honor. I, I'm sorry? You're not my maid of honor. Oh. Um, you sure? Really? I mean, it's fine. I, I'm just surprised. I was expecting that you were, but it's okay. I'm, I'm totally cool. Just being a bridesmaid. You're not a bridesmaid either. Okay. I'm not the maid of honor and I'm not a bridesmaid. So <laughs> what am I? You're invited. <laughs> I'm invited. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I'm sorry. Um, really? I mean, come on, Ashley, <laughs> you're my best friend. Oh, uh, <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you still mad I didn't come to your birthday party last it's year? It's a lot of things. Plus, you only met Adam once, and it didn't seem like you liked him very much. Who cares? I'm not marrying him. You know what, Ashley? You're right. It's it's your wedding. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, you know you can do whatever you want to do. Yes. It's your special fucking day. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you want in your unoriginal, overpriced, don't like your fiance because he won't go down on you day. Everyone in the store freezes and looks. Elizabeth, I'm sorry. Listen, you're still my friend. No, this is bullshit. We, we have history. Breakups, job changes, family drop. I gave you my Netflix password. Oh, it's your parents' password. Well, well, you know what? I don't need this. I mean, you said yourself, we rarely talk anymore. We've been drifting apart for a while, right? So, you know, let's just call it. You and me, Ashley, we are not friends anymore. Done. Finished. Fuck you. Exterior, interior, scrubs later. Elizabeth storms toward the front door. The outside is gaudy, bright red with a huge electric blue and white scrub sign. She enters. It's like we've traveled back to the late 90s, but like if the late 90s and TGI Fridays had a one night stand. On the walls are posters of Sugar Ray, Bill Clinton, Brad Pitt, and more. 
TVs show hacky sack how to videos. It's empty, except for Kayla, dressed as Britney Spears, a la baby one more time schoolgirl, and three customers at the bar. Kayla dances in front of her phone resting on the bar. What are you doing? TikTok. Well, you're on my TikTok. I don't know what that means. No posting while you're on the clock. Okay. Ice machine broke, uh, but the good news is we only had these three customers and they didn't care. <laughs> also, the woman's toilet isn't flushing and the guys in the back said the dishwasher is dead. Carlos is dead? I think they meant the machine. I don't know. No, hablo Spanish. <laughs> Exasperated, Elizabeth hurries around the corner. Uh, oh, and Stephanie. Interior scrubs, office, continuous. Elizabeth bursts in. Stephanie Hamilton, a mom, hip but doesn't know it, tells it like it is, sits on the couch. Hey, what are you doing here? I had some time to kill. I dropped off Gabe at one of his ball sports. In half hour, I have to pick up Abby at, I want to say hip-hop class? Karate, hip-hop, karate, one of those. Anyway, thought I'd come say hi. Where were you? Okay, get this stuff. I surprised Ashley with the whole fashion show. Then she tells me I'm not her maid of honor. And not only that, but I'm not in the wedding party at all. Ouch. I'm sorry. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Who cares? You look like you don't care. It's fine. You know, friendship's over. No biggie. <laughs> Come on. You don't mean that. Stephanie. How could we possibly go on being friends? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Continue to act like she's someone special to me when she's made it clear that I am not special to her? <laughs> There's no way. But Ashley is your only friend. She's not my only friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can tell that I roll. I have tons of friends. Okay. Here, I'll show you. I have like 900 Facebook friends. <laughs> do you talk to any of them? I like the bullshit they pose. So no. Okay, well, how about you? You're my friend. Mm, technically, I'm your sister. Fine. Francesca and Meredith. When was the last time you hung out with them? Kayla and I hang out all the time. She's your employee. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he doesn't count. Okay, so there's, um, Misty. I've never heard you mention Misty before. Do I have to report all my friends to you? What's Misty's last name? Misty, um, desk. Elizabeth, you can't be friends with a desk, even if you give it a trashy name. Oh, okay. I might not hang out with the, you know, I have acquaintances and other people, you know, like, like, um, oh my god, I have no friends. Hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. I mean, what kind of horrible, unlovable person doesn't have any friends? I mean, even terrorists have other terrorist buddies that they blow themselves up with. Cut yourself some slack. You've been busy running a bar. A failing bar. Working things out with Mike. Another failure. And you've never been good at time management, so there's lots of reasons you don't have friends. <laughs> hey. Hey. You do everything you put your mind to. If you want to make friends, you can do it. Oh, my God. Is this like a pep talk? <laughs> yes, so shut up. I bet. You can make them so fast that by the time Ashley gets married, you won't even care that you're not in the wedding. You really think so? Definitely. Maybe you're right. Okay. Elizabeth marches out of the office. Stephanie follows. Interior scrubs day. There in front of Elizabeth is Javier Santos. Insanely hot Brazilian accent doesn't realize his own sex appeal. Hi. Uh Javier, right? Elizabeth extends her hand to shake. Javier takes her hand and kisses it. Elizabeth Klein. I like what I see. Elizabeth is taken aback. 
She looks at her slump clothes. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yes. This place is ripped with potential. Oh. If it's a light, actually, I would love to take some measurements. Whoa, Javier, let's, uh, let's slow down a little. <laughs> of course, of course. I don't want to do anything you're not comfortable with. Tell me your needs. Right. Uh, okay, um, we're talking a uh, complete makeover. I want a sleek, timeless look, not this masturbatory nostalgia. This was all my ex-husband's idea. Oh, so you're single. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, my loan is for a hundred thousand, but I, I still need to pay back the original investors. So I cannot go over budget. If that's not doable for you, then this isn't going to work. Well, I think this is very doable for me. In fact, Elizabeth, I promise you I'm going to work hard until you're totally satisfied. <laughs> well, Javier, you um, you really know how to sell yourself. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Someday I want to have my own bar. And I would love for you to teach me if you have the time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, listen, Javier, you um, you seem too good to be true. <laughs> and and from what I've read online, you you do solid work. But if I'm going to hire you, I I need you to be on time. Of course, and I'm very sorry about that. I had to stop to help change a tire on the school bus. You're late because you spent your morning rescuing children. Learning disabled children. Okay. When can you start? <laughs> Exterior park day. Elizabeth sits on a bench looking at her phone. Someone puts their hands over her eyes. Guess who? The hands lift and there's Francesca. The once glamour girl now looks disheveled and frumpy. Peekaboo. Oh my God, Francesca. <laughs> I haven't seen you in what? Over a year? I'm sorry about Ashley. Oh, we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> okay, because I'm a bridesmaid. See, I didn't need to know that. And whatever, it's so good to see you. I know you wanted to meet here, but I could totally go for a drink. Yes, but can we stay here? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, there's a liquor store down the street. I could go pick something up, do a little brown bag and like we used to do. <laughs> Rosie calls to Francesca from a nearby jungle gym. Mommy, watch me on the slide. You brought Rosie. Fun. Yeah. But if you want to get a drink, don't let me stop you. I can't. I have to breastfeed. You still breastfeed her? Oh, no, not Rosie. Vivian. Francesca reveals a stroller with Vivian, six month old in it. Oh yeah, you had another baby and <laughs> you brought it. More fun. <laughs> this is Vivian. I figured you'd want to meet her since you weren't able to come to her christening. Something came up. Sure. <laughs> Vivian starts to cry. Anyway, tell me what's going on with you. How's the bar? Francesca takes out her breast and feeds Vivian. Oh, you're, yeah. Um something wrong no it's just so beautiful elizabeth tries not to look directly at francesca's breast um the bar well it's uh closed right now for um renovations <laughs> i uh, don't really know where to look uh i mean what to do <laughs> and mike is out of the picture Yes, and it's fine. It's normal, totally, totally fine. Normal. I'm married to my job now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't boob. B. I used to work nonstop too. Business was all I cared about. But then I had Rosie and all that changed. Mm, sorry. Oh no. Being a mother is the most important job there is. Mm, brain surgeon's pretty important. Dentist, Amazon delivery guy. Mm, someday you'll see what I mean. Rosie runs over to them. 
You didn't see me go down the slide. Oh, sweetie, come here. Francesca takes off her shirt so both breasts are out. She's completely topless. Rosie latches onto the free breast. Oh, so she still does. Oh, only when she's upset. Rosie unlatches. I'm gonna go down the slide again. This time I promise to watch. Rosie runs off. So, how's uh, my old frenemy Meredith doing? The same, but mad at you. Seriously? Why? Elizabeth, I'm sorry. I need to give Rosie my full attention right now. Whee! Oh. Okay. Yay! Rosie goes down the slide, delighted. Interior, Stephanie's house, dining room, night. Elizabeth, Stephanie, Ryan, Stephanie's husband, Abby, their daughter, and Gabe, their son, sit and eat. When did being a mom become so intense? Five years ago. But you're a stay-at-home mom, and you're normal. You managed to keep your tits covered. Uh, <clears throat> breasts. The correct word is breasts. Breastfeeding is nothing to be ashamed of. It's natural. I was masturbating, but you can't do that in public. What's masturbating? Oh, my God. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> it's when you touch your penis because it feels good. We have the pee roll in the back, and you finally go, you feel like, ah. Kind of, yeah. Well, all Francesca talked about were her kids. Doesn't she have anything else going on in her life? Kids take up a lot of time. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Whatever, Dad. What about the other people you reached out to? Well, let's see. Mm, besides Francesca, Meredith is mad at me and not returning my calls. Britt is in jail, and Julia and Trisha never called me back. Not even a text. Maybe they're busy. Yeah, there are certain universal truths in this world. You know, farts are funny. Being able to break dance makes you automatically cool, and no one is ever too busy to text. Try calling them again. Or just call up Ashley, go for a couple beers, and you know, get over it. <laughs> Dad, can you just not? Well, that's what a guy would do. I... Okay, I'm just not sure I would want to be friends with any of them. First impressions aren't always the best. And then like Ryan, the first time I met him. Wait, what? Sometimes people just need to grow on you. I give a person at least three chances before I write them off. Yeah, I guess. And keep trying with the others. Except Britt. Elizabeth, if you want my friend, you need to be nice. Hey, bud, <laughs> what did I tell you about mansplaining? Yeah. Sorry. Interior, Elizabeth's car, day. Elizabeth parks her car at her apartment building. Meredith calls, FaceTime, Elizabeth answers. Hey, Mayor, how's Paris? Oh, the fucking worst. Everyone here knows English, but they refuse to speak it. Yeah, booze at day's assholes. Anyway, how are you? You look tired. Thanks. Um, I just got done hanging out with Francesca and her mom's club for the millionth time. Uh, she always tries to drag me to those when I'm in town. She takes that parenting shit way too seriously. Yes, <laughs> it makes me so happy to hear you say that. By the way, Francesca wanted to ask you, but she felt weird about it. So she asked me to ask you, do you want to be invited to Ashley's bridal shower? I mean, not like you'd even come if you said you would, but. What? For the record, I think bridal showers are bullshit. Congratulations, you've chosen a life of boring sex. Here's some measuring cups. Yeah, uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Yeah, probably for the best. Hey, I have a favor to ask you. I can't ask the other girls, so you have to promise that you won't tell them and not one of those fake promises where you say you won't tell, but then you do. Like how Ashley hooked up with that girl and you promise not to tell. Except that was me who hooked up with the girl and Ashley promised not to tell. You get the point. Anyway, will you score me some Coke? What? My old connection will be gone the week of Ash's wedding. He's vacationing in Columbia. Actually, that might be a work trip. Is this what you really do? Are you some kind of drug lord? I can't believe you think I'd be such a badass. Thank you. No, I just thought it'd be fun. Weddings are so fucking boring. 
Mayor, I can't. I mean, if I got caught. All right, fine. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't have asked. I just thought it might be nice after you avoided paying me back that money for so long. I already paid. You know, I'll pay. I'll pay you back the money. Okay. Or how about you think about picking up that thing for me, and I'll think about forgetting about the money you owe. But if money isn't a problem for you, then I guess you could, you know. I'll think about it. Yeah, think about it. Like how I thought about investing in scrubs and then did. I wonder if I'll ever get that money back either. I said, I'll think about it. Yeah, think, then do. Oh, hey, Beijing's calling. I'll text you the address. I don't think you'll need a gun, but if you have one, bring it. All right, talk soon. Meredith hangs up. Elizabeth exhales loudly. Interior scrubs night. The place is dark and empty. Elizabeth pours herself a whiskey shot. She shoots and pours another. Elizabeth? Oh, Javier. Oh, God, you scared me. I'm sorry, I was just finishing some work. Elizabeth looks at her phone. It's Meredith. Ugh. Elizabeth declines the call and shoots her shot. You seem upset. I'm just having a moment. Do you want to talk about it? I like to listen. Of course you do. I'm just having some friend issues. A fight? No, it's not that. It's just they've changed. I mean, they're still the same people, but they're different. Making new friends is... I know I should give people a chance, but how many chances do you give before you decide that you're not compatible? <laughs> Not compatible with you? I'm sorry, but there must be something wrong with them. You're a wonderful person. Many people would love to have your friendship benefits. Well, you know, it's kind of your fault. Why? I mean, if you weren't so great at your job, I'd have to be here all the time and I wouldn't be hanging out with these people. Elizabeth moves closer to him. I don't think I've come out and said it, but I'm really glad we're working together. I couldn't have done all this without you. You're really amazing. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. I'm glad that we're working together too. And you, running a bar on your own? I think you're amazing. Boldly, Elizabeth lunges and kisses him. She lingers for a second, but then pulls away. Javier looks grossed out. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I enjoy that. It looks like you're gonna barf. Maybe we just need to kiss longer? Javier goes to kiss Elizabeth. Oh, hold on. This this isn't right. I, I've put you in a terrible position. Don't, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I, I'm your employer. <laughs> it's not you. It's so unprofessional. Elizabeth, it's not you. Okay. Can you tell me what you're thinking right now? Oh my God, this is hard. Uh, I have these urges and I've always had them. But then I met you and... and you know, we got along so well and we have the same goals. I thought that I might develop feelings for you. I thought my urges would change. Change. Mm -hmm. You're gay? <laughs> How can you be gay? You're not gay. You're, you're always complimenting me and other women and you love to listen and hear abs and oh my God, of course you're gay. <laughs> Please, stop saying it, stop saying it. Nobody's here, nobody cares. Yeah, my family cares, you know. They are very, very traditional people. And not all the men that work with me have an open mind. In fact, mm -hmm. I've heard the names they call men like me. <sighs> they would not respect me if they know that I am. That's not a gesture for gay. <gasps> Please, stop saying that. Don't okay, say. I'm sorry. I won't. I promise. Wow, you, uh, you really have me going there. I mean, 
you flirted with me. We work well together. You, you're going to teach me Portuguese. I totally thought we were going to bone. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. You know what this means? If there's no possibility of us having sex, we can be friends. Elizabeth rejoices and jumps into Javier's arms. This is the best thing ever. Let's celebrate. What do you, what do you like to drink? <clears throat> Elizabeth, I think it's best if we keep our relationship professional. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm... <sighs> gotcha! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> they laugh and embrace. <laughs> Interior, Elizabeth's car. Intercut with Stephanie's house, day. Hey, Steph. Huh. The person who never calls me back or responds to my texts is alive and has a working phone. I'm sorry. I've been busy. Someone once told me no one is too busy to text. Well, that someone sounds pretty fucking awesome and smart and attractive and you have no problem finding time for javier you knew bff don't label us yet we haven't talked about our status anyone who follows you on social media knows your status you should be happy for me i am just don't forget about your sister oh is someone jealous oh should we call ash and find out if you're suggesting that i'm revenge posting i'm not your eye roll is deafening. The real reason I'm calling is because Ryan's boss gave us tickets to Beyonce on Friday. <laughs> In the background, Ryan practices his single ladies choreography. He's so excited. And you're inviting me? I am inviting you to watch my children. Lame. Please. Fine. Thank you. Hold on. No, no, hun, huh? hun. Your head goes the opposite way of your hand. So, like this? Is that, yeah, I got it. What two hands? No. I gotta go. Stephanie hangs up. Interior supermarket later. The butcher hands Elizabeth a wrapped sandwich. She turns around and pushes a shopping cart. Francesca walks next to it while breastfeeding Vivian. Rosie sits in the cart. The sandwiches here are excellent. Mm, I'm sure they are. Francesca marches over to a large display of strawberries. I can't believe they're selling these. Strawberries? Non-certified organic strawberries. They're at the very top of the dirty dozen. Mom's Club emailed all of the local grocery stores with this year's list. <laughs> I'm sorry, dirty dozen? A list of non-organic foods that test positive for at least one pesticide. A single strawberry can contain over 20 different pesticides. Well, just wash it off. Elizabeth, this is serious. People buy fruits and vegetables because they think they're good for you. There should be a sign letting people know the mm. truth. These can cause cancer. To be fair, doesn't everything? A young mom walks by with her baby in the shopping cart and picks up a box. Francesca hits it out of her hands. They're poisoning your baby. The young mom hurries away, freaked out. Francesca. Francesca sees an employee. Excuse me? Excuse me. My name is Francesca. I'm a part of the Organic Crime Fighters Coalition. These strawberries are a health risk. Really? I've been eating them all week. <laughs> well, you've probably noticed a decrease in your sperm count. Sorry, she's just a concerned parent. Uh, where's the soup aisle? I insist, I insist you post a warning or remove the strawberries. Ma'am, I can. Warning or remove. Warning or remove. Okay, I'm gonna get my manager. The employee runs off. What is wrong with you? Somebody's gotta be a hero. Francesca sits down. I'm not going anywhere 
until action is taken. You're kidding me, right? Francesca taps the ground. Sit. No. Elizabeth, as a parent, I have not. To... You are embarrassing yourself. This whole mom thing is out of control. You are a grown ass woman sitting on the floor in a grocery store. You know, I know we used to be good friends, but who are you? <laughs> and if your answer is Vivian and Rose's mommy, then I feel sorry for you. I mean, listen to yourself. You are protesting strawberries, stupid, delicious strawberries. Oh my God, you are one crazy mother. The manager and employee hurry toward them. Excuse me, ladies. Oh shit. Elizabeth runs away. She forgets her sandwich, goes back, gets it, then runs away again. Interior dive bar night. Elizabeth and Javier sit at the bar. Can we get drunk tonight? Like, hit on your cousin drunk? <laughs> Whatever you say. Alcohol solves all your problems. Well, my mother used to say it only causes them. Causes, then solves, then causes again. It's the circle of life. <laughs> Bartender sets two bottled beers in front of them. Thank you. Allow me to get emotional for a moment. <sighs> it's been so good having someone I can be myself around. Are you falling in love with me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being my friend. Javier picks up his beer. To best friends. To best friends. They cheers. Interior, sky bar later. It's a party. Loud music, hot people. There's a pool in the center of the space with people lounging around it. Javier struts in. Elizabeth stumbles behind him. Interior, Stephanie house, same time. Stephanie is dressed up. Ryan, wearing a Beyonce t-shirt, sits on the couch with Gabe and Abby. He's upset. Elizabeth looks at her phone and answers. Steph, guess where I am? The answer better be on your way. What? It's Friday. You said you'd watch the kids. We're going to miss Beyonce. Gabe looks surprised at his dad. Daddy didn't mean to yell. Just having a lot of emotions right now. <laughs> Gabe hugs him. Shit. I'm sorry. Where are you? I'm at the bar. Well, get over here now. Stephanie, listen, I'm a little busy and drunk. I have a year. <laughs> are you serious? She's not coming. I'm, I'm going to make this up to you. Elizabeth, you can't make up for Beyonce. It's impossible. I'll pay for the tickets. It's just that Ashley. No. Elizabeth, you really let me down. We used to be there for each other, and now you're treating me like you treat everyone else. Just call me when I can get my sister back. Stop being <sighs> hanging stuff. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, fine. I just need a drink. Elizabeth and Javier make their way to the bar. Beer! I need all the beer. You know what? You are right. This place is sexy. I like it. Elizabeth sees Ashley and a group of friends across the pool. Ashley sees Elizabeth. Elizabeth sees Ashley looking. She poses and laughs like Javier just said something hysterical. <laughs> Why are you standing like that? Like what? Come on, let's dance. Elizabeth grabs Javier's hand and leads him near the pool. They dance. Elizabeth plays it up as Ashley watches. You know what would be even more fun? If we jumped in the pool. Oh, you mean a giant toilet? <laughs> Elizabeth grabs Javier's hand and jumps. We're in the best Whoa! Ashley runs over. Elizabeth, what are you doing? Oh, hey, what's up? Get out of the pool. Why don't you get in? You, you know, I sent you an invite to the wedding. And you didn't RSVP. Because I don't need your pity invite. It's not a pity invite. <laughs> you don't have to pretend like I'm someone important to you. You are important to me. 
Well, it doesn't feel like that. It, it feels like you don't care at all. Meanwhile, I have spent months trying to get over this, joining cults, letting women breastfeed all over me, hanging out with people I don't give a shit about just to stop feeling sad about us. Elizabeth realized as Javier heard that. Oh, Javier, I didn't mean. Javier gets out of the pool and hurries away. Elizabeth starts to go after him. Javier, wait. No. No, Elizabeth. You, you, you have just been using me. Just to make your friend jealous? She's not my friend. Neither am I. Javier runs off. Elizabeth follows and collides with a man. <sighs> Watch it, jerk. Excuse me? I'm a lady. You should watch where I'm going. Ma'am, have you been drinking? Mind your own shit. Watch your mouth, ma'am. Mm, you got it, asshole. Elizabeth checks the man with her shoulder. He grabs her, puts her in an arm lock, and reveals his badge. Ah, oh, off the fur, asshole. Ow. <laughs> Exterior, Stephanie's house, day. The front door opens. <laughs> no one's gonna come to my opening night party. I'm gonna be all alone, stuck, waiting around in my own shit. <laughs> Look at Stephanie. Elizabeth continues to sob as she enters. Interior, Stephanie's house, kitchen, later. Elizabeth sits across from Stephanie at the table. Well, that's it. I know everyone hates me. I'm sorry. That's it. That, that was totally your cue for a pep talk. You know, here, I'll get you started. You know, don't worry, you'll have lots of friends. I'm so used to giving that talk to my kids. I think I forgot who I was talking to. Your sister, whom you love and don't think is the worst person ever? No, an adult. Sure, making friends is easy when you're young, but when you get older... You're fucked. Life's more complicated. People move away, have families, become drug mules. Priorities change. People change. Okay, sure. Francesca and Meredith changed, but Ashley didn't. You're right. You did. You got married and started a business. Are you really going to make me go down that shame spiral? I'm just realizing that when the bar wasn't doing well and your marriage was falling apart, you didn't lean on your friends. You blew them off. Why? I don't know. So you're saying it's okay that Ashley dumped me? She never said she didn't want to be your friend. She made a decision that made you sad. But instead of working through it... So I'm the shitty friend? You want my advice? Ashley's wedding is next weekend. No. I think you'll regret not going. I never RSVP'd. I, I don't want to be rude. After everything, now you're worried about being rude? <laughs> I was a shitty sister too. And you've been so supportive through all of this. I'm sorry. You're forgiven. Stephanie hugs Elizabeth, still in the embrace. You know this apology will someday require Beyonce tickets. Hmm. Adele's on tour. Deal. <laughs> Exterior, Beverly Hills Hotel, Courtyard Day. The maid of honor runs off the stage after giving her speech. That won't be a tough act to follow. Yeah, it won't be. Elizabeth downs her drink and marches up to the stage. She picks up the microphone and... Hi, everyone. Oh, hello. 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 Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm not a member of the wedding party, but I still wanted to say a couple words if that's okay. Ashley and I met our first day of college. You know, I didn't have a roommate. She had too many roommates. So she moved in with me and we became friends, best friends. You know, we did everything together, studied together, party together, gained the freshman 15 together. And the sophomore 16, <laughs> there wasn't anything I want to do for her. Elizabeth looks at Ashley. Ashley can't look at her. When you're young, your friends are everything. But then you grow up. And 
the friends you used to talk to every day, you talk to every week, and then month, and then you're lucky if you catch up twice a year. But that doesn't mean it will stay like that. Things change. Elizabeth looks at Francesca. Like maybe you have kids and your friends who disappeared because they had kids before you are all of a sudden your lifeline. Elizabeth looks at Meredith. Or maybe you get divorced. Not, not saying that that's going to happen for you too. But there's that friend who you can be single and crazy with. Someone who you know you paid back the money they think you owe, but they've done too many drugs or being too many underwear models that they can't remember. Elizabeth looks at Ashley. Or maybe you got in a fight and someone's feelings got hurt. Just because people drift apart doesn't mean they won't drift back. You know, something changes and like that, you're back together. Like no time has passed. I like to think that that's the kind of friendship Ashley and I have. Uh, sorry, I um, kind of went on a tangent there. <laughs> um, I hope it wasn't as bad as the maid of honor. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, cheers to my friend, Ashley. The crowd politely applauds. Elizabeth puts down the microphone and hurries off the stage to the bar. Supposed to give a toast? Nope, and I'm leaving now before I do anything I'm not supposed to do. Elizabeth grabs her martini and runs out. Interior Klein's night. Quick pops of the grand reopening party. It's packed. Elizabeth sees Francesca and Meredith walk in the door. Hey, I didn't think you'd come. We were on the fence. We thought about pulling Elizabeth and just blowing you off, but. About that. And all those times I did that, I was embarrassed. If you came here, I, I didn't want to explain why you were the only people here. And if we went anywhere else, I didn't want to make excuses why I was staying with someone who treated me like shit. Yeah, did I ever tell you that Mike used to hit on me? Hit on you all the time, I know. Look, we've changed. Meredith, maybe not so much. I don't know if we'll ever be as close as we were, but you're both welcome here, whenever. And no more blowing people off. If I say I'm going to show up, I'm going to show up promise and not one of those fake promises. Francesca and Meredith soften and give Elizabeth a half smile. They nod in acceptance of where they all are now. So do you know if Ashley walks in? Francesca and Meredith sneak away. Elizabeth goes to Ashley. You came. You invited me. I invited Adam too. Uh, is he coming? No, I, I thought it would be best if it was just me. I'm, I'm really glad you're here. Uh, can I get you a drink? It's the least I can do after I crashed your wedding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was unexpected, but totally something you would do. <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> so what now? Maybe if it's okay, can I call you later this week? Or if you don't want me to? I was thinking that since I'm here, we could get a drink now and fill each other in on <laughs> everything. Yeah, uh, I would like that. <laughs> Good. Because I've missed you. Elizabeth lunges at her and hugs her. <laughs> Ashley returns the hug. Okay, um, get a drink. I'll, uh, I'll be right there. <laughs> Elizabeth walks out the door. Exterior climbs continuous. Elizabeth walks past the doorman and leans on the building. She exhales loudly and smiles to stop herself from crying. A woman, Molly, passes by. Elizabeth smiles at her. The woman stops. Uh, excuse me, did this place open? Actually, tonight's the grand reopening, although it's 
kind of a friends and family event. Oh, okay. I just moved here and I'm in desperate need of a local bar. <laughs> Where did you move from? New York, just two months ago. Well, welcome. I own this place. Oh, very cool. Maybe I'll stop in next week. Molly starts to walk away. Hey, why don't you go in now? Get a drink. But isn't it friends and family? Yeah, but what's your name? I'm Molly. Molly, I'm Elizabeth. Made any new friends in the last two months? Uh... Elizabeth opens the door. You have now. Molly walks in, Elizabeth follows. The end.